Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I thought while I was waiting for the lavender to bloom here in Ireland, I would use up some of the dried lavender that I harvested from the previous year. So I'm going to share three products with you, the first one being a room spray. Very easy to do, you just need a jar. I love reusing old vitamin jars. Fill it up about halfway with the dried lavender. And I'm going to use some clear alcohol. I use vodka because it has no smell. But you can also use some witch hazel. And you just want to fill it up so that it's covering all the lavender. And that's really it. You just leave it then for about four to six weeks until the lavender has been completely infused. I just pop a little stone in. It just seems to keep the lavender down a little bit. And just leave it on a countertop or in a cupboard. And this is one I made previously. This was about a month or so ago. And it's got this wonderful aroma. And you just pop it through some cheesecloth. And you're left with this wonderful room spray. And because vodka doesn't smell, all you smell is the beautiful lavender. And because you're using alcohol, it has a really long shelf life. The next product I'm gonna make is some lavender water. Now this is similar to the rose water I made last year. And I'm gonna make it even easier using one part dried lavender to three parts hot water. You just don't want the water boiling. And all you do then is just leave it until the water cools. Now lavender is naturally antimicrobial. It's also a great antioxidant and it's really calming and yet also refreshing. So it's a wonderful flower to utilize. When the water is cooled down, I just pop a true cheesecloth into another reusable bottle. And because this is made with water, it's not gonna have a very long shelf life. So what I'll do is I'll make it before I know there's a week of hot weather or if I'm going away. And it's a wonderful toner to use for your face or you could just pop it into a spray bottle and then just spray it around to kind of refresh you in the warm weather. And what I'll do is I'll just keep this in the fridge for the week. Next, I'm going to make some lavender infused oil. Now this is different than lavender essential oil, which is much more labor intensive. Again, just fill up the jar about halfway with some dried lavender. And then what you want is a quite a neutral oil. You can use some almond oil. I'm going to use some evening primrose oil because that's what I use to take off makeup. And same as before, just pour the oil over the lavender, making sure the lavender is all covered. And another little trick I learned is to shake these bottles every so often during the time that it's stored away. And then like the room spray, we're just gonna leave this infusing for about four to six weeks. So this is one I made about six weeks ago. And all you do is just pop it through a little sieve. And I'm gonna pour this oil back into the evening primrose container. And 
And even if you don't have makeup, so you don't need a makeup remover, you can put this oil into, say, a body cream or just use it as a nice facial oil. So they're the three products I make using some dried lavender. I'd really love to know if there's any other products that you make using lavender. It's a really great flower to have in the garden. So chat as always down below or over on Instagram. Have a wonderful week. Keep it simple and I'll see you in the next video.